Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And about a week ago, I asked you guys to put up your very best food photos onto the Facebook fan page, and that is exactly what you guys did. But before I jump into that, if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, just look for this orange box on the screen, put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I will send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations. And don't forget about the new 8-bit Doom shirt right here. You can get it in the store at store.fronosphoto.com. So let's dive in to these images that you guys had. So what I did is I went through and looked at all thousand images that came in and I did screenshots because I still wanted to get your guys' name in there. So what I've done is pulled what I thought were the best ones and then I pulled some to critique at the same time. Um, so here we go. What I'm going to do is just pop it up on the screen. This is how it's gonna be because Look, the best way to do this was to do a screenshot because dragging somebody's image didn't keep their name and I wanted to share their name in some of the comments here. So that's why I did screenshots. So remember, not all of the Facebook photos are great in terms of quality because Facebook has a weird compression that sometimes makes them look awkward. So let's look at this. So here we have taken shots, taken shots. That's like, yeah, taken shots is cool. So this is interesting. I mean, it looks like, very subtle lighting, so I, I like it, and it seems to be a major thing with food photography that people cut certain aspects of it off. Just, it's like a little flat on the front. I like the light back here that's washing over, and it actually looks like daylight. Um, it, it, it's good, you know, the, the bun looks good, and this stuff looks okay. It just, it doesn't look as appetizing. It looks almost like a zombie because it's, it's not bright and it's not, I mean, it, it comes across as looking dead and flat. I'd like to see more light just popped up in here to make it look a little better. Now, 112 people liked it, but that's not how I'm picking everything. This is nice. Uh, this is Larry Wong sushi. Of course, I do love sushi, and I guess he works at a sushi place. I like the depth of field here. Looks, we have a hand here, but it's not, to, or is that a hand? It could be a hand, but it's not distracting because it, I can't tell what it is. But I love that the focus is right here on whatever that is. You've got the seaweed paper and all this stuff, and, and it just looks good. So let me, let me make it a little larger. Hopefully it doesn't degrade quality. Uh, all right. Ooh, yeah, see, this is nice. Look at this, you've got, I love triptychs. I love when you guys put up triptychs like this. They tell a photo story with the food. You've got, in this case, you have the uncooked pasta, you have the sauce, and then in the final image, you have it all coming together into one with like olive oil or vinegar or whatever that is. In, is it wine? I don't know. In the background, out of focus. I love this. I love this shot. I like that the focus is right here, and you got like the salmon, sem, not salmonella, salmon, whatever that stuff is called, right there. That looks good. And then this, a nice little subtle light on it, and then you put it together, nice light coming in from the same side, and boom, really nice image. So I forgot to say that somebody is gonna win a free year of Squarespace, and then the other prize was something from Lexar. So I need to go ahead and pick that, or what I could do, what I may consider doing, is allowing you guys to pick one of them, or helping me figure it out, or maybe I'll just pick it, I don't know. You can leave comments with the photographer's name that you like, make sure you add their name so that it shows up so people can click on it. So this is all right, I just don't understand the cutting off of the piece of chicken over here. Like that's what throws me off, it's a little too tight. It's not showing enough of the plate in my opinion, and plus just cutting off things that shouldn't be cut off. I like the chicken, it looks really good, really juicy, really really nice. It's just you gotta pull back a little bit, maybe angle, down when you're shooting it. I, I like the angle, but from further back, it just seems that you're, you're missing out. The lighting's not terrible. Um, it's not terrible, but I, you know, I just wanna see more. It's cutting off things that shouldn't be cut. So this is cool, you, gotta, you have a whole setup. This is what food photography is about. It's about all of this big setup. Um, it's, it, you have to get it right in order to, to get the image to stand out. Everything has to be in the right place. The lighting is subtle, it looks good. You've got your cheeses, you've got your grapeses, you've got your Whatever's wrapped up in a tube sock. Um, this isn't matzah, but it looks like matzah. Um, so this is nice. It's a nice little story. It tells what's going on for the cheese plate. This is food also because it's whatever those whatever those things are called. Uh, but it looks good. Getting it as it splashes into the water, as long as it's their photo, it looks good. So nice shot. I like how it's falling in there and freezing it and shooting it. Very nice job. So we've got the pizza here. 
Really big watermark down in the corner. Pizza looks good. You know, a little harsh on the lighting coming in here. I also don't mind that things are off on a little angle because we're shooting from the top down. So that doesn't throw me off like it's like it's a Dutch angle. Um, but I like that you've got the garlic and you've got the tomatoes and then and then the plate just coming in in the corner. It's all leading you into. Well, I don't know what it's leading us into um, now that I say that, but it's nice. It's just missing something, and I wish I could, you know, I wish I was a better food photographer or was more versed in it, because then I could tell you why, you know, what I would do to make it better, but it's pretty good. It's not bad at all, because you got the tomatoes and the tomatoes, and you know that there's garlic in there, so that's pretty good. I don't mind it. It's nice. Straight down looks good. I love scunions, scallions, scunion. I call them scunions. I like calling them scunions. It's subtle, but what is this? Meat. Or is it mushroom? No, that's meat? I don't, what is it? Miswa. I don't know what Miswa is. Somebody please explain to me what Miswa is. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. But what it is is it looks good. You've got the whatever this stuff is. You, oh, it's some of the herbs and spices, and, and then you've got the garlicses, and this, yeah, this looks good. I like the setup. A lot went into that. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. I absolutely adore this one, and I'm going to give it something. What prize should I give this? I'm going to give this... Uh, I'm gonna give them a Squarespace account. Free year of Squarespace. If you wanna check out Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash fro, get your free trial. But I absolutely love this photo. I love the placement. I love the lighting. Look at the difference. You know, let's go back to the pizza shot and, and, and the harshness of the light compared to the softness of this light. A lot of food photography from what I've seen is the softness of the light. When you get the soft light coming through a diffuser of some sort, it just, it, it, it's not as harsh, thus being soft, and it works really well. Just look how beautiful this is. The lighting is superb. The background, this is all great. I love this shot. This is my favorite one of them all. So this is like an Instagram type shot. I just wish that the quality was better. If the quality was better, I like the setup and I like what's going on. It's just, it's an Instagram shot, which is nothing wrong. It could be the best shot in the world, but maybe what would make it better is if we had a design here, because that seems to be a big thing today in the lattes, is having a design up here. I like the setup and I like the composition, it's just that quality-wise, I'd like to see more. I'd like to see it much better. And then the reason I picked this is because it's freaking Dutch angled. Look, even with food, you know it's supposed to be flat on a table. All this looks like to me is that it's gonna be falling off of the counter. It's just like a loop, it's gonna slide off. It doesn't work. Dutch angles, in my opinion, I still have yet to see one that has worked. And please submit one down below if you think you have a Dutch angle that works. But this doesn't work. This just doesn't work. It, it just looks like everything's about to slide off of the cutting board. The reason I picked this is because I want to eat this. And what, what upsets me is when I'm at these events and they have like glasses of of shrimp with avocado, whatever, shrimp, and it's like little, I'm like, give me seven glasses of shrimp appetizer. Just give me seven of them. And this was just because why is there a cake in the middle of the street? Not for any other reason than why is there a cake? So I picked this, and obviously it's a digital thing. People did this after the fact. But I, I you know, I'm not a big fan of the banana one that's getting sliced because everybody's done the banana one that's getting sliced. But in this case, I thought it looked really cool to build the burger the way that they did. It just looks really good. Maybe the editing could have been a little uh, better here, you know, because that looks like it's digitally done. But this is really nice. I like this as well. It's just because the, the behind what's going behind it, I really like it. So this was a different look at food. It's somebody's hand with some of the food there. This worked out wor very well. That's why I picked it. So this is a little under, sorry, overexposed. It needs to be less bright. It's too harsh, uh, and that's probably because of sunlight. But just pull back on the shutter speed, uh, pull back on the exposure. Tasty South Florida grouper. It actually, I mean, that looks really sensational. That looks like a really nice, like, fresh meal. Um, but pull back on the exposure, a subtle bit of contrast. I know you can't go over too much with the contrast because it would do it, uh, it, would, it would ruin it. Um, you just can't go too boomified like I like to do. I picked this because it says soccer, maybe that's somebody's name, but I loved the focus on, I love the background, uh, out of focus, and I love the pops, the, 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 what are these called? Cake pops, just looked really good. Um, I love brownies. Thank you for posting, Leah Marie. Uh, I love brownies, so I like it. I just, 
I, I want the focus to be more on the brownie. And yeah, the, the sugar drip, dropping is nice. I'm just not a big fan of sugar on my brownies. Um, I just think the expo it need, this one does need more contrast because the chocolate can handle it. I think it would make it boom more and then make it more uh, stand out-ish. What a word, stand out-ish. This is great, nice job. Meredith Baker, this is really awesome. Uh, Asian flavor, love this. Love the warmth, not the warmth, but the, the light. The, the contrast between the green and the white. And we've got peanuts and um, uh, ginger and basil, I hope, and, and, and snow peas and something, something. Uh, and and this is beautiful. I love this, and, and I'm gonna come back, maybe this is that other winner of something, but beautiful shot. So the pizza shot's good. I want more of the pizza. If this is, a, is this about the chef or is this about the pizza? If it, I, I love the reflection, that's fine. But if it's about the pizza, then I want more pizza in it. And it's a little too harsh on the lighting. So this was um, Dylan. I picked this because uh, it was for a reveal. Congratulations on a baby. It's just too much fill light was used in here. I can see because of just the way the background looks and the way this was looked. Fill light in, in post-processing. Looks like the shadows were, they used to be called fill light. It's now called shadows. Too much on the shadows. So I just think it needs to be pulled back. Contrast would be fine, but pull back on the exposure and this would be better. I like this because it is a food shoot, but it's behind the scenes by G Ha, G Hao. Um, I love this because look, this is gonna really soften the light. I, and I like this shot. It, it, First of all, it's composed extremely well with the three windows, the rule of thirds, the fact that it has the food in and it answers all the questions and it's not just a food photo the way that you would think of a food photo is, but this is how you attach a, 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 a diffuser to a stand. And it's just, it's subtle and it's nice. Oh, no. <sighs> I just picked it because it's just like, all I'm doing is waiting for it to beep, slide off the stairs, uh, slide off the thing. Now. I stopped on this image because it caught my eye. When I'm going through a thousand images, I'm going through a couple, uh, you know, every couple seconds. Like every second I'm switching through. And if it doesn't pop out at me or make me think or, or question something, I don't stop on it. That's just what your photos have to stand out, especially against a thousand people. And this stood out because it looks like, it looks like the podcast logo from iTunes now that I look at it, but it's a top-down look. The reflection of the lights that you get on the chairs, the way that this is all set up, this is diagonally, the lines that are playing here with the triangles and everything. This is really nice. I love this shot. Nice job. Um, same thing, cockeyed. You know this is horrible because look at the way the table is. If a, a, You don't make photos better by turning them sideways, in my opinion very strong opinion on this one, is that you don't make the photo better by turning it sideways. Um, this is nice, a little harsh on it. It looks like it's just d uh, the, the light that was in the area. Um, I like the background, very slow shutter speed. You can see that it let in a lot of the extra light. Just get closer, get more of the food in there because if it's a food photo, I want to get more of the food in there. Plus, let's focus some more light on here, even if you, had a, um, even if you had something like an iPhone from the back left, I know photographers, when it comes to food, they like to do back left, but just a little bit of extra kick in there to highlight this is gonna make it better. This is great as well, alternative sandwich. Really love it, because it makes me think. I see the name of the restaurant, the menu, the plate underneath, but the focus is on this alternative sandwich. Really nice. This is nice. I love mozzarella, that's why. For some reason, I, I took a liking to it. There's a lot going on in this image. It looks good. Uh, it's just okay. It's not the greatest in the world, but I do like it, and that's why I pointed it out. This is nice as well. A great food photo. I like that the focus is right here, and then, then this is blown out in the background. The bread looks very nice. Everything looks a little good here. Um, maybe it's a little cold. Maybe it could use a little bit more brightness exposure, but that's at least on my screen. So it looks good. I like it. Um, so I love sushi. I like the, the playoff here. I would maybe put this further into the corner so that it fills that corner because it's actually hurting me because you see how this is filling the corner? Then I want that to fill the corner so there's no dead space here that's drawing my eye to it. But in my opinion, oops, I would like to see every one of these in sharp, sharp focus. F11, F16, something much higher focus right here on the salmon and then you'll get everything. I think all of this needs to be in focus. This is nice too. Really nice setup, nice job. Oh, it's it's G Hao. very nice job again. Um, really nice setup. I really like this setup. You got all the uh, toasted almonds or whatever they are, um, but a lot went into this. Really nice job, G. Burger looks good. 
Uh, spicy bacon burger, can't complain about this. I think this sells the illusion extremely well. The burger looks great to eat. I wouldn't eat it because of the bacon and the jalapeno and all that other stuff and all the other stuff because I eat burgers plain. But this is a very, very nice setup. Really nice job right here. Um, really nice, nice. Okay, very nice as well. Same person? It is the same person. Nice job. Two photos. Uh, what is this? Che cheese? Would that be cheese? Whatever it is, it looks good. Very nice job with all of the sauce. See, what happens is this stuff takes time. Y you have to dress it. That's what food photography is all about. It's about the stage dressing. Uh, it, it, it's what draws you into the image. And in this case, the last two images were set up immaculately. Immaculately. So go check out um, Mr. Heist's stuff right here. And you can see the difference between the burgers here. Look how soft the lighting is. A larger diffusion, a larger soft box was able to give you a wider softness. You can see the reflection here, but it's great. And then you get to something like this, you can see that it's much harsher right here that throws you off. It's not far off, but learn from these photos there. Cupcake, last photo, too much sugar on it. That's why I picked it. Too much sugar. Really nice job, guys. I'm going to go ahead. I really do like this, and I like this, but I did fall in love with this shot right here. Uh, I just I just like the contrast. I love the, the green, and I love the white, and I love the colors. So, Meredith, I'm going to give you something from Lexar. Um, after you watch this, send me a message on the Facebook, uh, on my fan page, and I will get your information so Lexar can send you something. And, I mean, I did like these other guys, too. Maybe I'll give... Uh, G how contact me. I'm going to give you something. I'll come up with it. Uh, and also, uh, Abinov Frank G heist, uh, send me something as well because I want to give you something, uh, because your photos are great. So that is food photography, uh, your best food images. Don't forget to check out the latest five minute portrait that I did. It's up here on the screen. It's a five minute portrait with the Nikon D5500 and 18 to 140 kit lens. I never used that camera or kit lens before I did that shoot. And it's fantastic. So definitely go check that thing out. Thank you guys for watching. And that is where I will leave it. Also, don't forget to subscribe here on, on uh, what are we on? We're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube and Facebook, go ahead and like the page. That's it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.